Hello again, welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric. And what we're going to do today, we're going to make a, a marble cream cheese coal oven pound cake. A marble cream cheese coal oven pound cake. And this is what we're going to need. We're going to need seven, you'll need seven eggs, four tablespoons of baking cocoa, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and then I also am going to be using a tablespoon of um, cream cheese emulsion, cream cheese emulsion. And you get this at Walmart, and, I'll, and before I end the video, I'll show you the bottle. You're going to need three cups of that cake flour, that homemade cake flour that I did a tutorial on it. You can look at my channel and see how to make cake flour. So you're going to need three cups of cake flour. You're going to need three cups of granulated sugar. And then in my bowl, mixing bowl already, I have one eight ounce package of softened cream cheese and three sticks of salted butter. So now let's get started. What we're going to start off by creaming our cream cheese and our butter. And I'm going to let that cream for about a, a minute. And then, and while that's creamy, you also want to make sure that you prepare a tool pan or you use a bunt pan or a tool pan. So we're going to let that cream, let that cream for about a, a minute. And so we see that our, our cream cheese and sugar, I mean, and butter is creamy. Now I'm going to gradually start adding the three cups of sugar. As you all can see, as you all can see, I got her whipped. She done woke up once again. Every time I get ready to do a video, here she comes. And folks, you would think it's you would think it's um programmed as but it's not. Every time, all day long, and then she wakes up as soon as I start filming. But we're gonna continue to let add our sugar. It is a, a task trying to do this with these kids. So that's all I should do. And you hold on to that. Listen, I'm going to do a channel teaching baby how to cook. Maybe I'll get more subscribers and viewers if I could do a cooking show with just me and her. She's like, oh, we can't put that in there. Okay, so. Papa got to give another spread. Hold on, you all. And you see, uh, we're going to stop our uh, mixing or scrape down our bowl. Look, look at those screen and say, oh, this is such a ghetto. I don't even want to say ghetto. Can I put you down for a minute? Say hi, Mariah. Say hi. Put you down one minute. Hold on, hold on. You all see, as soon as I put it down, there she is. So I just want to scrape the ball down. And I'm going to let this cream for about another, uh, maybe two minutes, you all. Let me write you something. Else. Hold on, folks, one minute. Okay, you get up there, Mariah. Sit up there. Looking like a big girl. But don't touch now. Uh 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 uh. Don't touch nothing. No, 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 no. Right. No, 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 no. So we're going to let this cream for about another, about another uh, minute. Then we're going to uh, start adding our eggs. And then, folks, what I'm going to do is add one egg at a time.
Okay, and as you see, we'll add a second aid. We have two women in. That's okay. Come on, you be sipping the flower. Come on. Turn the thing. Come on. No, 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 no. Turn it. Remember? There you go. That's a big girl. Ooh, look at that big girl, y'all. Don't y'all see her sipping the flower for Papa? Tell America hi. Say hi, America. Say, I'm baking. Keep turning. Okay, we're going to add another egg. So as you can see your mixture. Okay, so we're gonna let that bring now. Hold on, Mariah. One minute, Mariah, one minute. You all got to move the stuff out the her way now because she's gonna roll. Now I'm gonna add in the remember I showed you. Hold on a minute. Hold on. And I, so, so, as I was talking about, this is cream cheese emulsion, and I got this at Walmart. Walmart sells this in the, uh, what they sell, the cake decorating supplies at. Cream cheese emulsion, and it has a, a really, a really good cream cheese smell and flavor. So we're going to add that into it. It's kind of thick, you know. Make sure you get it on in there. Hold on, Mariah. And then we're going to add in our vanilla. And then I'm going to scrape up. Mm -mm. Stay right there. We're going to scrape our bowl down some. And it might, it, it look curled right now, but that's okay. And once you uh add the uh start adding your flour, it would um it will start smoothing out. This is really a rich cake, you know. And I'm okay. So So our eggs, we got our eggs and our flavoring. And then remember, I had three cups of that homemade cake flour in here. And I added one uh, teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. And then I'm just sifting it one time. And I gave it that one sip just to incorporate some air into it. Look at her, she's eating good, you all. I had to keep her occupied. Let me sip this last of it. And you don't really have to sip the flour if you don't want to, but I, I don't know, I just have it. Because it still is going to be a very moist and... And I'm going to start adding that flour. I'm going to turn our mixer down just a little. Over there. Excuse that bag. Try to keep. 
This is a very good cake. Easy to make, buttery, a little different. Stop it. I'm going to scrape the bowl down and get some more. Then I'm going to add in the rest of my flour. Enjoying these videos. I know they listen. The more I do them, the more more professional I guess I get. And, may, and maybe it'll be a chance when, it, when these little girls start going to school that I better put out some quick quality videos uninterrupted when they get in school because these little girls here, it's like I don't get a break. Like they get started every time. I have to send a shout out to uh, Mariah's godmother, Denise Cooper, Nisi, and tell her, please come get your God child. That's all I got to say about it. And while that's finished mixing, you all, you notice I, I put the cocoa in the shell. I sip in the cocoa because the bacon cocoa tends to have lumps. Now this is was a all these brand a generic cocoa powder. So they can all use the best of this. Let me tell you, you got to be economical. And remember that was four tablespoons of cocoa powder. Okay, we're gonna finish this off. And you all see that it's, it's creamy. I'm going to finish it off. And Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, as you all can see, I'm going to take maybe, this may be about a, I want to say maybe a third of the mixture and add it into the cocoa. And as you can see what I'm doing, all I'm doing is stirring in the cocoa. And then, I'm going to 
add just maybe a teaspoon of this chocolate uh, flavor that I made. Uh, Thank you. Yay! Why? I mean, here. Let me. Now, let's fill our pain. So. So, as you see, so now I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out. I'm stuck my right. Ah. Y'all it's so hard baking with this child here. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is you see. Can you all see? Y'all see I stole some cake mix. Chocolate, extra boost, that's all. Okay, here you go, Mariah. You got a lot of chocolate to play with. And then I'm going to finish it out with the rest of our yellow batter. Look, I know it's summer, but you can start think start thinking about the holidays coming up and start practicing now so you won't be embarrassed at the family gathering on the holiday. But start practicing that. Keep watching those videos over and over and over until you get it right. And then if you have questions, if you try something and don't come out and you have questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And, and uh, I would definitely get back to you all. Now, what? everybody licking it. Okay, so all I'm going to do is spread it like this. I give it a tap, and then I'm just going to. Now, people, this is going to bake for a properly. We're going to put it in a cold oven. That's what it's called, a cold oven pound cake. And it's going to heat up with the oven. I got my yeast roll rising there. But it's going to heat up with the oven. I'm going to put the oven on 
of 325. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to start out uh, for an hour, an hour and 10 minutes, and I'll get back with you. So you see, uh, our cake is just taken out the oven. I put it on the cooling rack, and, and it's, it's firm, it's hot. And now I'm going to let it cool for about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to turn it over to a plate and let it finish cooling. So, uh, taking it out of the pan, I'm going to let it cool for about another uh, 15 minutes. Then I'm going to put just a little chocolate glaze on and as you, I don't know if you can see the inside kind of marble. And then I'm going to put a glaze on it and then I'm going to cut it and show you how the inside looks. Yeah. Go. Okay, so. All I'm going to put on, all I did was put a, a can of generic chocolate icing in the microwave. And I put it in the microwave uh, for maybe 40 seconds. Yeah. 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 I can't, it's still, it's not all the way cool, but I want to put this glaze on it while it's still kind of warm. Then I want to cut it so you all can see. And all I'm going to do is just, that's all I'm going to do. glaze on it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, people? And I just took a can of ice and put it in. I'm going to right, move back. Now let's cut and see what the inside looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the texture. Oh my God. Look at it. It has a nice crumb on it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, let's see. Let's see how it tastes. If you follow the recipe, people, it is delicious. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good, folks? So remember, cream, marble cream cheese, cold oven pound cake. Don't forget, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and continue to view my channel. Um, I want to be putting up all kind of things on the channel for you all, and uh, I thank you all for viewing. And remember, this cake is delicious. So you, you can add this cake to your Thanksgiving, Christmas table, or even just for the holiday or the summer. You feel like baking. And you don't even have to put the glaze on it. You can serve it uh, without the glaze. Or you can put a, a vanilla glaze on it. Whatever kind of way you like. But remember, simple cooking with Eric. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember, be good to each other. And let's keep peace in the world. Peace out. Bye.